This is how the spicy jug. Ice water. Whoa, whoa, baby. Poke it out. Poke it out. Poke it out. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do some spicy jug. And now I'm not gonna go about out here and put like the worst possible clip to put on YouTube for this type of tutorial. So I'm just gonna keep it nice and simple. I have four, four um, clips here. All part of the same flow framework that we're just gonna go over and see what um, we can achieve in not even like 10 minutes. So, first thing, obviously, prepare your clips. Make sure your uh, frame rate in your composition is uh, settled. Uh, mine's 20, 20 frames per second at 1440 by 1080p. And, well, 1440 by 1080 pixels, sorry. And then make sure your clips are ready. <laughs> um, Motion tile on each one, please. Um, we're gonna be adding shapes. Um, just do 200. And preferably something that's kind of spicy, meaning like kinda, kinda hot. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna put this on half for now, um, just so things can run, render easily. So I'm just gonna be copying and pasting it real quick. Uh, now we have the the effects to use, the, the effects, the, the movement. So first thing we're gonna do is add a scale. I'm gonna make a null at the beginning. I'm just gonna do it here from zero, from 150 to 100 uh, really quickly. 150 to 100. And since this only lasts like eight frames or nine frames, it's not really gonna be a, it doesn't really need to be a whole, um, like a whole long scale, sorry like that something like that could work if you're using most uh motion blur please feel free to use it otherwise if you don't want to you don't use it and you really don't need to use it i i choose to use it but don't feel like you have to use it so in this case um i will add a shake to each clip as well so um i'll add s underscore dissolve shake this is kind of an also a rundown how to make like a like a jug shake as well because I'm, i seem to be pretty good at those <laughs> so um no percentage is at 30 percent because you don't want it to go all the way up otherwise you're going to diminish the clip's visibility uh amplitude you're going to put to 2.5 or 2.56 that's when the fingers and middle fingers slipped uh amp frequencies so frequencies tend to be like as shown so one to four one to four or let's say no one to five is i would say low low frequency six to nine is considered like medium high usually standard for me uh in my eyes it's usually standard like six to eight or nine frequency and then 10 plus 10 or above is a lot so you don't want that. that's a lot <laughs> so obviously it hasn't been graphed but you gotta get the understanding that how how the frequency looks so if i were to just make the graph quickly like this then, you can kind of tell no, that's a little bit too much so i consider i prefer doing eight or seven i would do eight in this example um i'll mess around with the x shape values i'll probably pick the x shape random amplitude more than the y shape one because simply because that's how i prefer my, my uh my shakes to be in jug so and my z shape my in and out 100 and my tool shake one to three so i'll put 1.4 into the example i'll um, mess with your seeds make sure your seeds are always solidified you don't want to um go without a bad uh seed so so as you can see and if you need to always make it more noticeable you can always extend the, the last keyframe um so the make the graph longer and that's what we'll do here so so it looks fine so let me just think again okay that adjusting it looks a little bit too glitchy right, that's fine to me so copy and paste this shake onto your other ones because in reality if you if you're following my setting it's fine but you don't really need to if you don't want to but um in this case i just find it easier to uh, just copy and paste things so stuff like this will work but in this case, if you don't want it to be too noticeable, you can always go like this and just make the um, uh, keyframe start like in the, maybe the first two frames of duration. So stuff like this could work. And then you just kind of hide the visibility. And then you could add like 
uh, uh, effects to hide the chicks, so stuff like inverts, glitches, RGB effects, stuff like that will work. Okay, so the reason why I did the big cut here was because I wanted to make this video more concise and since I added a lot of effects here, as you guys can see my timeline, I didn't want to really um, go through the 20 minutes of effects that I added. So, after adding all these effects, here is my result here, and yeah. I wanted to show you guys the basics, and I wanted to give you guys a little glimpse of, my, of the effects I actually used here. So, yeah, like inverts and stuff like that. Uh, RGB effects, is, I love RGB here, and other stuff. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is funny, funny tutorial, but also very cool, and I guess, so, um, yeah. Uh, give it a like, and subscribe, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching.